Hello, welcome to Creative Kitchens. I'm Christine. Let me give you a tour of our showroom here in Taze Valley. And let's begin with our crystal display. Crystal is our full custom line of cabinetry. They have a superior finish to their cabinets. Um, so we love to use them and pick any type of wood, any stain, any paint that you can possibly think of, they'll do it. Um, we're showing this awesome American range that is in a custom color that they also will do. Um, we have our Cortison white oak in a custom finish. We're showing this uh, Sapphirico granite and a little bar sink. Then behind it, we have an awesome banquette seating arrangement. So we have built-in seats with a custom dining table that Crystal makes. Um, also in the Cortison White Oak with a custom stain and glaze that we selected. Even the base of the table was custom. So they do beautiful work. Um, and then over here, we have our walnut display of inset cabinetry with an integrated uh, pop-up TV stand. Let me show you this fabulous hood from Faber. It's a retractable recirculating vent to place over your range with LED lighting that shines down right on your cooking surface and interior so it functions as an awesome light and also as your hood. You can even change the height that you want it to stop at. Let me show you the Crystal's affordable custom line, meaning uh, not as expensive. Beautiful finish. Their paint is excellent. Feels like silk when you touch it. Um, we did a closet island here, and we did beautiful little crystal knobs in pink with pink glass and glass shelves. So you can show off purses or jewelry or even shoes in your island. We have a Cambria Britannica Warm on the countertop, which has a beautiful movement, um, just a pretty, pretty um, color, a little creamy. And then our bar stools are even custom. You can pick your style, the height, the finish, and the fabric and color of your cushions. Very affordable. And now, let's look at the fireplace made of Decton. The entire surface is Decton material, which means you can get a seamless finish material that's mitered on the corners. It's just, it looks like concrete or marble. Super, super durable, highly scratch resistant, heat resistant. You can use it for countertops. Just creates a, a super contemporary look. We have friendly wall as the accent wood on the sides and floating shelves from KitchenCraft, actually. Let me show you our beautiful white and blue kitchen. It is probably the favorite here that everybody loves to flock to, um, probably because it has beautiful countertops, quartz countertops that I love. It's called Calicutta Valentin. The white cabinets are Waypoint, which is probably our number one seller um, because they're super affordable and uh, great quality. So we love to put people in this. Um, the hood is actually from Staniski, custom finished in our shop. We have a shop that does some custom work for us. So if we can't get it from our cabinet lines, we get it from our shop. So this matches our island. We have a gas cooktop um, and some awesome tile with our gold accented hardware. Um, and then something cool is to do like a different color inside glass cabinets. So I pulled the blue from the island and the hood into the back of the cabinets. So it gives you a pop, pop of color. And then these countertops are also quartz. They're in a suede finish, so they're not shiny. Super pretty. I love using a drawer microwave in the kitchen because it hides the microwave, which we kind of call the ugly appliance. I hate putting them in wall cabinets. So I like to tuck them in under the countertop. This one opens and closes with the push of a button. There's no bending over. Now let me show you a little hidden toe drawer that disappears. Nobody would ever know it's there. Put 
anything valuable, anything you want to hide. The truck also offers this awesome canister cabinet. It comes with all these little canisters. You can hide flour, sugar, anything that usually is on the countertop is now hidden away in a cabinet. Also, we have this wonderful cabinet for all our dog lovers that you can store dog food, leashes, uh, bowls, treats, anything. It's a great 24-inch organizational cabinet. And then we have a great farm sink that's so popular um, for any kitchens that are traditional, transitional, um, even contemporary, you can do them in stainless. But everybody loves the farm sink, big single bowl farm sink. It's one of my favorites. And then this wonderful panel is hiding our dishwasher. So now we can hide the dishwasher in the kitchen. Looks great. Let me show you our cool wet bar display. This is also of crystal. We have a mix of their custom and current affordable custom line, which is on the bottom. And this is our custom because of these cool sliding doors in the wall cabinet. Note the integrated lighting that's routed out on the sides of the walls and our back painted glass in our doors. Super cool. We have hay full of wine pegs that were, these are all individually routed out and put in here to hold our wine bottles. Our installers did a fasten, that just a fantastic job on the installation. Our granite is titanium black. It's six centimeters, so you can do these cool edges. This is um, more of a traditional edge, but you can do some funky chiseled edges or a straight mitered edge, which is more contemporary. The, the wood is hickory um, and a traditional stain, but this is a favorite feature of everybody, is our nugget ice maker. For all those Sonic ice and Chick-fil-A ice addicts, this is what you want. And we've made it to our awesome contemporary kitchen, probably my favorite display in the showroom. Quartz everywhere, including the waterfall edge that's on the back of the island and the other side. This is like a 140 inch island, so we have lots of goodies inside. Our cabinets are acrylic, which gives them that shiny gloss that um, is very reflective with the chrome hardware, super cool. Bamboo floating shelves to mix up the gray with some wood. I like the, the warmth that they bring. Um, we have hay full of lighting again integrated in our shelves, under the cabinets, and then in the toe kick. Lighten up those dust bunnies just in case they're under there. We have cool power outlets that are angled so we don't have any cuts in this backsplash. That's solid quartz flows with the countertop. So these are great. You can put USB ports in them um, so you can charge your phone or whatever also. And then we have our dishwasher drawers from Fisher Paykel. You can run one or both at the same time. These are great for empty nesters because you just don't have that many dishes that, that build up so um, you can run just a half a load. So those are super cool. Um, Kitchen Craft is our awesome uh, cabinetry from Canada. It's frameless and you can do every kind of pull out you can imagine. So we have our pots and pans in there. Uh, we have this cool hood that retracts and disappears. So when you're not cooking, we don't have to have that out, but it sure um, lights up our, our cooktop surface. This is a Wolf induction cooktop. Um, if you're electric, this is the way to go. It boils water uh, so much faster even than gas. And then our, our Wolf um, oven that's built in below. Okay, so our island, we have straw cabinetry, which is what our blue island is in the other kitchen. These are the awesome dish peg drawers. Everybody loves these once they get them. So instead of having plates in the wall cabinets, we'll put them in, in the drawers. 
Uh, my favorite pullout from Kitchen Craft is the knife and utensil pullout. These guys just go in wherever, wherever you put them, they're gonna go back. So it's so nice to have with your, your workspace there. Um, we have our tiered cutlery divider here. And then our trash can that we always put in, even with paper towels. Then we move to our Sub-Zero to finish off our refrigeration. This guy is a 30-inch integrated Sub-Zero refrigerator. He disappears behind his door. He looks like a big cabinet. And then across from our, our Sub-Zero drawers. So you still have all that space for just breaking it up a little bit. So this is our selection center. We have all our cabinet lines, their doors right here for you to look at. We can pull them out. Um, we look for colors, wood species, styles. So we play around when we're making all of our selections. So we can easily see, um, find what we're looking for. We have hardware on the bottom. Every single piece is different. Each little section is in its own finish, but it gives you an idea of what that's gonna look like in your kitchen. Now we have our awesome wall of tile, a collection of collections. There's a mixture of wood, porcelain tile, marble, granite pieces, and it's not necessarily for you to come and make your choices off of. It's, it's to give you ideas, see what you can, put together things maybe you hadn't thought of before. And once we get an idea of what you're looking for, we go searching in all our cubbies of tile to find out what, what you want. And we try to put that together for you. And over here, we have lots of countertop samples. So these are your stones that we typically use in our kitchen baths anywhere any, anymore. So we have granite, soapstone, um, quartzite, lots of quartz samples, um, even some marbles, decton, all the color samplings, a lot of them are right here for you to choose from. Here we are in our full bathroom display. This is kitchen craft cabinetry. Painted maple in a beautiful light, light gray color called drizzle. Uh, we have a cool little hamper that tucks away. Um, lots of drawers we love in bathrooms. All the drawers um, to the cabinets that I've shown you that we have here are all dovetail construction, full extension, all plywood. Those are important. Quartz countertop with our little accent bump out here. Um, polished nickel. If you haven't seen polished nickel before, it's uh, not chrome, it's not polished chrome, it's polished nickel. It's got just the slight gold hue to it. So it's, it's, it becomes very um, elegant. We have a pretty beveled mirror. Something so simple adds that little detail and our pretty um, glass and marble tile wall to accent it with our little sconces. We put mirrors in our wall cabinets. It's great for a bathroom. Who doesn't like more mirrors in the bathroom? Then we have our curbless entry shower where we just have a, a small panel of glass to kind of keep you enclosed if this was um, in your, your, your house. But we did some really cool 3D tile here. And then we have our freestanding tub, which seems to be the popular item to put in uh, master baths these days. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure sharing my space with you. Come see us at any of our three locations here at Creative Kitchens, where we're families serving families since 1959.